a good day to be glad we live in the modern era with technology to help us. If you look in your textbook in sections 4C or 4D or on the back page of the lab manual, you'll see some really big, complicated finance formulas. But we're going to use Excel instead to do things we couldn't even do with those finance formulas, even if we knew how to do the big, crazy math. The first thing we're going to do is figure out what monthly payment you'd need to save up for something. Lydia has opened a savings account with a 2.25% APR compounded monthly. She made an opening deposit of $1,000. How much will she have to deposit each month to reach a balance of $5,000 in two years? Start by listing out all the variables in the formula from beginning to end. We're using the FV formula because this is a savings account. Once you've done that, Type in the formula in the cell for A. Remember, the ending amount is equal to the final value. They just are different names for the same thing. Use cell references instead of numbers in your formula, and then you can reuse the formula and also use it to solve for things besides the ending amount. At first, you'll get a divide by zero error, but don't worry about that. It only happens because you still have blank cells. Then we enter the information into the blank cells as we read it out of the problem. It has a 2.25% APR, and it's compounded monthly, so N is 12. She made an opening deposit of $1,000, so that's the principal. We want the ending amount to be $5,000. We don't type that in the cell because we need the formula in that cell, but it's okay if you'd like to make a note so you have somewhere to put that $5,000 and the time we want to have it in is two years. Once you've entered this in, it does give you a value, but it's not $5,000. In fact, that's how much money she'd have in the account after two years if she made no more deposits. To find what payment she'll need each month, we have to use Goal Seek. Start by clicking on the Data tab, go to What If Analysis, and choose Goal Seek. Then we need to enter everything in. We want cell B4 with the formula to equal $5,000, and we want it to fill in the value for the payment, and here that's cell B8. When you click OK, it finds a solution, sure enough. It says that to reach a balance of $5,000, the payment needs to be 161.22 and some more stuff. Click OK. And it can be useful to highlight your answer so you can go back and find it later more easily. And then we simply need to answer the question. Lydia will need to deposit $161.23 every month. I know that may seem like a lot of steps, and you might not want to put it in Excel that way, but after you do it a few times, you'll find that it really is helpful to do it that way. In fact, you can make a template, like on the test or for your homework, and just empty out the cells and reuse that template to save a lot of time and a lot of opportunity for making mistakes typing things in. 